back again. This time I'm having a little bit more fun with that NPATH query that we learned in the Aster training session. I've modified the query slightly so that my results this time are just a row by row of each customer and the path that they took. I'm not aggregating anything up so that I can bring that back. Why would I want to do that? So that I can have access to the low level details about those customers. So I bring back that raw web clicks data. I run that end path query so that I know who the customer is and what path they took. But then I can do some other things with it. I can let ClickSense roll up for me based on who that customer was, what the first page they went to, what the last page they went to. I can look at things like the customer demographics and tie in their state, their name, age, details about them, whether they had checking or cust um, loans, etc. What that enables me to do from a visualization perspective then, instead of just seeing a roll-up that brought data back, I can interact with this. So if you'll recall from the training session, the second end path query that we ran was to find out people who ended with that bill manager enrollment. Because I've got that data, I can then say, show me the people who hit that page last, and I can see what their paths were to get to that data. More importantly, I now have their demographic data. So I can say I only want to see the male customers that went through that. You'll see that I can look at the timeline for when those sessions came. I can also graph this data through a map. So I can do geo-encoding for these customers. So I can see that we had the bulk of our customers were up in Michigan. So I can select and interact with this by clicking on individual states in my map and you'll see that my sand key continues to change as I'm rolling through here. By doing it this way I can also interact and get right to those raw customer details so that I'd have some actionable data to do. How do I get to that then? I simply could click on this and say export the data and I could dump that out to an Excel sheet and I've got some actionable results from tying together that N Aster NPATH query with my other existing demographics or other details I may have in a different system. Hope you're having as much fun continuing to learn this stuff as I am.